Hi, everybody. How are you today? I'm Patricia, and I'm here with Mark Reinbold. Mark is a twin flame body practitioner coach, helping to reconnect people. And today we're going to talk about some of the challenges that men have on their twin flame ascension journey. Hey, Mark, how's it going? Good. How are you, Patricia? Good. So we were we were just talking, and I think there's like some major things that feel like obstacles for men. And maybe we could talk about that to help people understand because you've been on your journey for a while and you have overcome some major stuff. And it's, you know, challenging to say the least, right? Yeah, it can be quite challenging sometimes. Yeah. So um, we were just saying work is one of the topics because a lot of people will have work dissatisfaction, feel like maybe they're not doing what they're called to do? Like, what were you finding um, in terms of work or types of work? And what do you see around you? Yeah, very much work dissatisfaction, uh, dealing with a lot of stress at work as well, like feeling like overburdened, even if it's something that you've always like done before that you know well, it's like some days you just go in and you're like, oh, I just, I can't do this anymore can't do this today. It just becomes so much uh, dealing with other people in the workplace as well, especially if you have like an overbearing boss or it's micromanaged. It just makes it so much worse and harder to deal with than let's say from before, right? It's like once you're kind of on this path, it's hard to, it's really hard to stay in that stuff that feels like almost like I want to say lower vibrational in a sense. Yeah. Feels right? like, sometimes like there's got to be a better way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So um, we were uh, just actually working on some of that. Uh, like how do people actually keep their jobs and set boundaries and, you know, really maintain a routine that is conducive to their ascension journey? Um, because not everyone's going to wake up at the same time, right? Like, yeah. we can know that. Yeah. So um, did you experience some of the uh, work dissatisfaction and start feeling, you know, that weird separation that seems to happen to everybody? Yes. Yeah, I did. It felt, I almost want to say like flat. It felt very like stressful. It felt very overwhelming. And in fact, it can have an effect of like anxiety. I was having like anxiety, panic, that kind of stuff, whether it related to the job itself, the amount of stress or dealing with bosses and other people. It's also other people feel like they're very much getting in the way as well. It's like you're trying to focus on you and whether it's coworkers or whatever, it feels like other people are a major kind of block to where you want to go in a sense too. Yeah. And it, it even that gets weird because it'll feel like they're pushing you out the door and pulling you back to fight with you at the same time and doing this push pull, push pull thing. Yeah. 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 They they don't want you to leave. They don't want to let you go, but you want to go, but they don't, you know, and then they want you to go. Like it it gets so confusing. And then, you know, if if men have responsibilities, you know, they've got to make a living, they've got to pay, you know, for their housing, all these, or family or something like that, or even other things like old relationships, um, alimonies or uh, something they're paying off. But uh, how do you feel that the ascension plays like into those responsibilities? I feel like like with doing this work, it has actually helped a lot in order to connect and elevate a bit higher. You feel like you're almost like guided a bit more. Uh, sometimes I know it can be difficult, especially for men to kind of touch on the spiritual side of things, know that you're actually, there's a higher aspect to you, your higher self, you have like, you're able to connect in that sense and feel supported, um, that's kind of a really big beat in almost like letting go of control in a sense. It's like having control. It's almost like, you know, if they talk about manifestation and it's like, 
the art of allowing, but it's like you have to take um, take action, but it's like divinely guided action in a sense, right? So you right. have to you have to learn to kind of forget some of the things that that you were taught in how to live in your life. Yeah, I would agree. I think that, um, you know, just from what I've seen, there's sometimes a disparity between like how women receive it and how men do. But like, you know, there is a difference between being spiritual, truly spiritual and religion. Religion's much more organized, you know, spirituality, like different things speak to men um, that just, you know, it, it clicks with them, whereas it might not in another way. But how do you feel that you, you know, get things flowing, like you were saying this higher part of yourself? A lot of people don't talk about that. You know, they like to talk about more physical, concrete stuff. But, you know, we have these unseen parts of ourselves. Yeah, so basically through doing the work, through doing the body work and such, it, you know, you tend to feel it's like you release stuff that's kind of in the way through energetically. And then you tend to feel almost guided a bit more. Like sometimes either it's however you get your intuition, whether it's through thoughts, through feelings, through ideas, it's different for different people. And also through experiences. I've had things where I've had like certain experiences or certain things happen where it's like, okay, this is a bit weird. How, why did this happen in this way? And it's like, you just kind of know. It's like, yeah, okay, there's something else going on here. Yeah, like it's swirling around you and all of a sudden like you're, you know, Neo in that scene where it's just like, do -do -do -do, you have like, you know, the perfect vision and it, it's just like, you're, you're able to, nobody else does. So I think you hit on something when you said the word intuition. I think a lot of men pride themselves on having strong intuitions about things, but they don't really connect it to this like other side of themselves or even, you know, some of their other connections for relationships and maybe doing different work. Right. Yeah. I'll, I'll, you know, a lot of men would base it off of their experience or life experience or base it off of the mind instead of realizing that some of the thoughts that actually come to mind are your actual intuition or like a, a spiritually guided intuition. I know for me, sometimes I'll be thinking and saying things and be like, where did that even come from? You know, like, do you... Yeah. The wisdom comes right through. Yeah. You're young, but there's there's a wise guy in there. And yeah. you were just saying something about a sign. Tell, tell a little bit about that because um, those music messages, they can be very powerful. Yeah, so the other morning, I was having a bit of a rough time the other morning, um, and I had woken up with a song in my head, and I hadn't heard this song for like 15, 20 years. Wow. So, yeah, and it was um, In the Shadows by the Rasmus. So it's a, a rock song. I think they're a Finnish rock band. Um, and it's basically talking, you know, like, I've been waiting in the shadows all my life, waiting for tomorrows all my life. Uh, there's a line in the song regarding... Um, they say I have to learn to kill in order to be safe, but I'd rather kill myself than to be their slave. So whether that's, that's yeah, yeah. So it can, to me, it kind of related in, in two senses. It can relate to war, obviously, you know, learning to kill in order to be safe, but you don't want to participate in the game, right? Um, and then there's also the fact that it could be just doing those things that you have to do to survive or to be a man or to fit into society but it's like those those things no longer fit with you it's like what you were told to do not what you actually want to do and it's like no i'd rather just not be here then it can yeah yeah it can. and i mean nobody wants that nobody wants to see the men that we love and care about to just off themselves because they can't see it any other way or of what duality has given them you know it's this way or that way and yeah there's a new direction whole new level and yeah so interesting that that came to you and it just like came right through right yeah so, so you needed to know of what's going on yeah 
Yeah, so, and that happens to me sometimes. Songs will just come to me, and especially right when you wake up in the morning, you know, you're kind of in that space where your mind hasn't fully engaged yet, and it, it, things just are more easily able to come through. And I just kind of woke up with it, and I was like, what? I haven't heard this song in years. And I started listening to it again, and it's kind of the, the message was right there, so. Yeah. Now, did you feel that this was maybe a message from your twin flame or guidance for you? And maybe, you know, just what did you feel about that? That is definitely a possibility. I mean, whether it comes from my higher self or, you know, twins higher self or, or together higher yeah, self. Yeah, together. Yeah. I mean, I've had like I said, it, it's not the first time I've had songs as guidance. So for me, it's just, it feels like a normal thing almost at this point. Yes, I know it is. It, it should be like our normal, right? Where it just like yeah. comes right through. Yeah. So doing the work works. Um, yeah. Let Mark please guide you. He is here to help men with their ascension and do coaching. If you need energy work, let us know. We hope this video has helped you and we're going to be back with more. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Check the links below. Bye. Thanks, Mark. Thanks. Bye.